Hi you guys, this is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's bill exchange and long-term savings binder account. Let's go. This is Black and Blue, go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so today's video, I want to say before we get into it, I think it's not going to be that long of a video, but there's two things I want to do. One, I want to do a little bit of a bill exchange just to swap as much real cash out of this binder as I possibly can so that I can get that money into my high yield savings account. I am trying to do a count of how much interest I've made versus how much I added into my high yield savings so I can try and do a video on that. To help anybody out that's trying to figure out if they want to do a high yield savings account which it's a no-brainer honestly you should it is genius and i actually got into it later than i should have but i've arrived i've arrived <laughs> but i would like to it, i think it'd be fun to see how much is allotted in this long-term savings binder compared to what's in my high yield savings account because the interest has not been touched or placed inside of this binder in my separate categories so we'll see what the remaining balance is after i figure out what's in here and that's going to be in a later video but today we're going to do a little bill exchange and figure out just how much we saved up to now from when i started to now so we're going to go ahead and get into it and i am going to need a calculator i think for sure so i don't get this jacked up you guys are gonna see a little bit of a glare my lights are lighting <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and put some fingertip moistener on this is in my shop welcome if you're new here i did see that i got an influx of new subscribers a lot of you guys came in on my last 100 envelope savings challenge on stuffing welcome welcome a lot of you guys were commenting kind of as if you didn't really know what i was doing or why i was doing it so welcome if you guys are here and trying to figure out what it is i'm doing <laughs> uh let's see so let's go ahead and get into this binder I do have a notepad from the Aesthetic Dollar that I'm going to be using to kind of write down some notes. I love, I love notepads so much. And this is in her shop. It is beautiful, the Aesthetic Dollar. That's her shop and channel name. But we are going to be using this. I'm going to slide it right off camera to my right. So this is my binder. This is a binder that I had designed and had a manufacturer make for me. It's in my shop, dripped.e.com. And I love this binder so much. Now, I have different categories in this in, in this binder. I've got emergency, savings, college for my daughter, back to school for my daughter, my sister who added this envelope in and I just haven't taken it out yet, medical, home, holidays, and my dog, cookie, and my vacation. These are my categories and there's real money in these envelopes and then there's placeholders. You can see one right now. This is showing how much money I already took out of this envelope and put into my high yield savings bank account where it is growing money for us, <laughs> making money for us. So these placeholders are already currently in my bank account. There's no way you could have this much money in an envelope and nor would you want to because anything could happen, especially if you're at home and who knows, a fire, a robbery, all kinds of things. So it's best to have your money making money for you in the bank. And that's what it's doing. So we have some placeholders right here. We've got the 100s, the 500s, and the 1000s. I don't know what I'm gonna need for today. I did a bill exchange recently, but I'm just doing this one again, just so that I can get as much money out of here as possible. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. When I take out this real money, I'm taking this to my bank account. I'm gonna set it here, cause it's going to the bank, and take out a 100 placeholder to take its place. So when I look at my high yield savings, I only have one high yield savings account where all of this money is housed in that's placeholders. So in order to find out how much I have allotted for each category, I need to come back to my binder. So these placeholders tell me how much money is in this envelope. I'm going to double check to make sure it's correct because sometimes I don't add the money in and we're going to see if it's correct. I think it's off actually. I'm not sure, but we'll see if this is accurate or not. But I do need to figure out, I'm not going to use this notepad so that I can write down how much is in cash and how much is in placeholders in this 
binder so I can know. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52. I do not have anything lower in denominations of my placeholders except for 100. So that's all I can swap for are hundreds. Okay, so this envelope has 20, 25, 26,000, 1, 2, 3, 400, 20, 40, 50, 51, 52. So this is off. Let me get my pen. This is my erasable friction pen that I have blinged in my shop. And this one is actually at 26,452. And out of all of that, we have real money, 20, 40, 50, 52 dollars in real money. So I'm going to put emergency 52. Perfect. So that is swapped. Let me see if there's anything else I can do here. One, two, three, four. Nope. All right. Just want to make sure that the placeholders are also in the biggest denomination possible. Savings. Oh, let me put this tracker back in here. So now that I know that these trackers are not accurate yet, I definitely accurate. <laughs> then I, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and count and fix them. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. That's another 100. 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. Another 100. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to bring that 20 back. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I'm going to put the 2s back here. Actually, hopefully, I don't have any singles. Oh, wait, I'm holding singles. Oh my gosh. 1, 2, 3. Wait, did I swap that for a 20? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we're going to put those ones right there. <laughs> I ran out of slots. So we got 15. 100. Okay, let's see. We have 20, 21, 22,000, 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, $235. Let's correct that. $22,235. And out of all of that, the real money in my long term savings envelope is $20, $35. 35 in savings. Awesome. Okay, this is my daughter's college. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. Did I not have any tens? I thought I had tens in here. <laughs> okay, that was a hundred. 20, 45, 46, 47, 48 dollars. And that's as low as we can go. One, two, three. Okay, so we have 25, 26, 27,000, 1, 2, 300, and 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 348. So $27,348 and in real money we have $20,45, $46,47,48 in college. No lie you guys, I literally forgot I was recording. I, I forgot I was even recording. That is insane. Because I'd be doing the same exact thing if you guys were not watching me. If I wasn't on camera, I would literally be doing literally this. So, in our back to school, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, fifty, one, fifty, two, 
20, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 100. Perfect. All of that swapped out for a 100 for one placeholder is amazing because it makes for thinner like less in my envelopes when we can do a bill exchange. Someone in my last video asked what a bill exchange was. It's basically the purpose of it is because when you have a thick amount of money in your binder, then it makes your binder harder to close and doing a bill exchange is motivating because I personally add it as I call, I call it a pops a prop. <laughs> I call it a prop swap where I'm swapping placeholders prop money for real money so I'm like it's a bill exchange prop swap so that means that that money can be put into a little placeholder which is motivating because it's like yes I get to put this real money in my bank account so it's going to make more money for me and that's the motivation that I absolutely love I thrive for and it helps me do better in all of my savings goals. So we have 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 400. 2,400. And out of real money, there's literally zero. Ooh, zero. Back to school. And then my sister's envelope. This is just too funny. <laughs> I don't even have a tracker for hers. I had her do a on my channel. She did a cash stuffing on my channel. It was so funny. She has $55 in here. So 155 20 40 55 That is so funny. And she added an envelope without me even knowing it until I went to go edit the video. And I just thought it was so funny. Of course, it's pink. <laughs> and medical. I love writing with these pens. And medical. We're going to put the prop money to the side. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now we've got, let me grab that 100 before I forget. Now we've got 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 20, 40, 60, 71 dollars. Okay. So we have in this envelope one, two, three thousand, oh, four thousand, five hundred, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait, we can do a, a placeholder swap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. Yay! So I can swap these for a 1K slip. Yay! So one, two, three, four, five thousand. I'm actually gonna swap this one just because it's hard for me to really pay attention to the denominations when I have different placeholders. I know these signify one thousand because I've been using these from the very beginning, and these are so absolutely beautiful. But I just don't have enough to do all of this one. But what I do, I will for sure use those more because I just have a hard time deciphering between how much is what without looking really closely so one two three four five wait a minute i swapped this for a 5k slip one two three four. Oh my gosh where's my 5k slips at i didn't even think i was going to need them so i didn't even have them next to me i mean i had them next to me but i didn't put them in this tray 5k 5k okay so i'm going to use one from carol cash i absolutely love her and it's an australian one so that's so cool we're going to put this down we don't need this anymore ah look at this Oh my gosh, I love it. We're using a 5K slip from Caro Cash. So we have 5,000, 20, 40, 60, 71 dollars. 5,000, 71, and the real cash is the 60, 71 dollars. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that's medical. Now in our home envelope. 
We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. Okay. Look, I already have a Carol Cash 5K in this envelope. So we have in this one 5,000, 6,000, 6,000. Ooh, I'm hitting my light. So five, six thousand, five, six, seven hundred and forty dollars. Five thousand, six thousand, seven hundred and forty. And forty dollars is real. Perfect. Holidays, which are coming up. I'm so excited. My daughter's been so excited that Christmas is coming. She just loves the holidays like I do. Can't wait to put our Christmas tree up. I see so many people putting their Christmas trees up already. And I'm just like, I want that to be me. I want to get my tree up so bad. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Ah, the, like the longer you can celebrate Christmas, why not? Thanksgiving has not happened yet. And that's okay because when you come together with family and you have a beautiful Christmas tree up, it's just more, it just feels like more. We should just go ahead and combine Thanksgiving and Christmas together. I know one is for fall and one is for snowy weather, but who cares? 20, 40, 60, 70. I'm going to go ahead and write away, put $70 as holidays. And we have... One, two, three, four thousand, one, two hundred, and twenty, forty, sixty, seventy dollars. So four thousand, two hundred, and seventy. And that is that. I keep thinking there's more I need to do. Fully funded and then vacation. Which I've got some ideas for a vacation. I've got some ideas. I feel like what I want to do for vacation keeps on changing. And then whether my daughter can go with me or not keeps on kind of changing. Because she's in school. And I'm really feeling like I need to get out and go somewhere. So I just keep on having different ideas. But I think I know where I'm going next. And I'll have to debate on whether I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Don't know why I was counting that in slow motion. It felt like 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have $24 in real money in vacay. And the total is 1, 2, 3, 4,121, 2, 3, 4 dollars. So we were 100 off. $4,124. Last time I filled this binder, I did not update the trackers, and that's why they're all off. So, oh, it's actually thinner. It is. Oh my goodness. It's actually thinner. Okay. So, I do want to see how much real money is in this binder, and we're going to use my calculator, which also in my shop, look, it matches. I'm really on a Tiffany blue kick, so my stuff, my stuff matches. <laughs> So we have 52, 35, 48, 71, 40, 70, and 24. So we have $364 in real cash, 364. I did not add up the total amounts from each envelope. Now, if you're like, I want to know, you can easily do that by just going back and looking at my totals. But I'm not going to do that right now. But I am super excited that I know exactly how much real cash is in here. So if someone just came and stole my binder, they'd be getting $364, which would suck. But it'd be a lot better than if they took $100,000. That would be insane. That's why, that's why prop swaps are so good. <laughs> because... You have placeholders in here, and if someone steals it, your money's chilling in the bank. They might get some, but they're not going to get a crazy amount, like the total of the binder. Now, how much money we are taking back to the bank? Let me just 
I'm gonna put that to the side. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. So far we got 1,000. 5, 10, I'm guessing this rest remaining is going to be 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, what, oh, it's 10, wait, no, wait a minute, so 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 200, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, I'm off 10 somewhere, this should not be a thing, this $10 should not be a thing, and now I'm going to have to go back and look and see what I did wrong. Because it should be a whole number. Somewhere along the line I did something wrong. And I don't know what that was. I should have ended on a whole hundred. Two, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. There's a 1,000 there. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. <laughs> ah! I did it wrong again. 85, 2, 4, 6, 8, 95. Wait, did I just count wrong last time? 95, 2, 4, 6, 8, 105, 205, 105, something in 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. So I'm actually 15 off. Somewhere I'm 15 off and I don't know how. If you guys know, please tell me. <laughs> Y'all are usually good at telling me, but this this one I really can't figure out until I go back and rewatch. But I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I appreciate you guys. And if you're new here, please let me know down below. I love saying hi to the newbies. And I will catch you guys in the next one on Wednesday. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'm out of here. Bye.